Good, good afternoon, dear audience. During the today presentation, with your permission, I would like to present the results we obtained within a preclinical studies regarding the evaluation of ultrasound application for the visualization of small caliber vessels. But before I start discussing the data we obtained, it seems very important to understand the clinical demand existing in the treatment of patients with peripheral, peripheral arterial disease and the options that are available by tissue engineering for development of suitable small caliber vascular graft. Peripheral arterial disease is a chronic progressive pathology leading to partial or total peripheral vascular occlusion. Being a progressive systematic disorder, its man management requires interprofessional involvement for improved patient outcome. According to the latest statistics in the field, nearly 200 million people worldwide are affected by peripheral arterial disease. The treatment options available for this category of patients are quite variable, including lifestyle modification, pharmaceutical therapy, and revascularization procedures. Even the importance of lifestyle modifications, such as smoking cessation, normal diet, physical activity, and including the drugs that may improve the radiological properties of the uh, blood are uh, obvious. The revascularization procedures are the unique option for the patient with severe disease form, including the endovascular procedures or open traditional bypass surgery. Uh, the, the endovascular procedures uh, are very efficient methods in the treatment of the patient with peripheral arterial disease. Nevertheless, the patient with critical ischemia may require the bypass surgery, it being demonstrated to be the unique technique with long-term good results. Nowadays, in the clinic, the following types of grafts are used. Autograft, allograft, xenograft, and the synthetic vascular grafts. The improvement in the field of vascular grafts of synthetic materials that are used for production of synthetic vascular grafts are obvious. Nevertheless, none of existing material is considered suitable for the substitution of small caliber vessels. And now we discuss about the vessels with a diameter less than 6 millimeters. For the patients that require substitution of this type of blood vessels, autograft is a unique option. In most cases, being used the greater saphenous vein, which is considered the gold standard material. Nevertheless, not all of the patients may have this graft available. So increased interest for tissue engineering of gra vascular grafts is determined by the scarcity of available autologous grafts and the functional imperfectness of the existing synthetic vascular grafts. Using a cellular scaffold seems to be a promising and interesting strategy from this point of view. So the tessellarization is a process by, by which the cellular components are removed from the tissue with preservation of the extracellular matrix, which due to its structural, structural, chemical, and physical properties is considered a suitable scaffold of, for engineering of different tissue and organs. The tessellarization may be performed by a variety of methods. Nevertheless, a standard operating procedure for desolarization of vascular tissue is still not available. In addition, it is not clear if the same desolarization procedure may be used for blood vessels of different diameter. So while analyzing the literature in the field, we observed that till now the contribution of physical method, including the usage of sonication for desolarization, uh, when used alone on combination with chemical or biological approaches, is insufficiently evaluated. And it seems to be quite interesting to understand which could be the advantages of using the sonication treatment in vascular tissue desolarization. The variety of biological effects which are produced of, by ultrasound, including the altering cell membrane integrity, debris removal, and uh, loosening the cell junction, are determined by the phenomenon which is uh, known as a cavitation phenomenon. Uh, let's discuss shortly what really happens when we try to sonicate a liquid containing some, some tissue and uh, by which uh, method, in which way, all of these biological effects of the ultrasound are produced. So when sonication liquid, the sound waves result in altering high pressure and low pressure cycle. 
During this low pressure cycle, the ultrasonic waves create, create some micro bubbles into the liquid which contain the gas. When the bubbles attain the volume at which they can no longer absorb any energy, they collapse violently, producing a significant temperature and pressure increase at the point of their collapsing and generate a violent shock wave through the medium. So in this way, the sonic energy is transformed into the mechanical energy, which is responsible for the majority of biological effects, inclusive the disruption of cellular membrane caused by ultrasound. Uh, two different types of ultrasonic systems may be produced in order to obtain this result, such as indirect communication method using the ultrasonic buff. Uh, but the disadvantages when using the ultrasonic buff is the repeatability and scalability of the process is very poor because the cavitation process obtained in this way is uncontrollable because of an uneven distribution of the wave through the space. From that point of view, using the direct communication method, and namely the ultrasonic probe device, seem to be much more adv uh, advantageous, taking into consideration the possibility to fully control the most important communication parameters, ensuring reproducibility of the result. Uh, so considering what was mentioned before, the following study goals were determined. To examine the capacity of sonication to completely desolarize small diameter blood vessels when used alone, to test the effect of weight parameters on the processing quality in the matrix macro, uh, macro architecture preservation, and to evaluate the possibility to reduce the time required for cell removal when ultrasound is used in combination with non ionic detergent. As a testing material, the frozen porcine carotid artery was used. Taking into consideration the advantages of probe type device we use for our experiment as the ultrasound system using um, uh, uh, this type of machine. So uh, two different desolarization methods were used, namely the physical desolarization, including the sonication and using the hypotonic uh, solution to induce the osmotic shock, and combined method, including the sonication and detergent treatment. Describing into the detail of the experiment which was performed, and namely the physical desolarization protocol, previously the blood vessels were frozen, flushed quickly in a buffer solution to remove eventually the adjacent tissue and the uh, blood clots. Next, they were submerged in the Eppendorf tubes containing the hypotonic lysis buffer and exposed to the sonication. The machines that was the parameters of the machine that were used are frequency of 24 kHz and the power 200 watts. Uh, we also were able to test in this uh, case two different amplitude values of the ultrasound waves and two different exposure times, respectively 20% and 100% amplitude and three hours versus 12 hours. The combined method, including the uh, submerging the samples into the uh, um, and treating the samples with a detergent, and namely 1% triton X100, which is a non ionic detergent, and exposing the sample to sonication. In this case, the control mode one were used, and the uh, samples were treated 48 hours. As control, uh, we used uh, the following, in this case, uh, the following uh, uh, samples were used is the samples that were treated exclusively with detergent under rotation. The results being evaluated uh, by agent E staining and DAPI staining. Uh, so the native tissue were used as a control in this case. Uh, agent E stainers of uh, um, cross section of porcine carotid artery indicates the specific lamellar structure of the extracellular matrix, which is determined by the presence of elastic and collagen fibers. Uh, and among them, we, uh, the um, uh, cellular layers being distributed. As a DAPI staining, DAPI being a fluorescent dye uh, with affinity for the DNA indicates uh, the uh, cellular nuclei, which appear as a blue color dot when examining the sample. Uh, so as it was mentioned before, for the evaluation of the uh, experimental results, uh, the 
atom ethane revealed a great amount of intact cells and remnant DNA into the sample. It indicates that the sonication treatment, when we used in combination uh, with a hypotonic buffer, was not strong enough to remove the cells from the tissue. Uh, in addition, when evaluating the samples which were uh, treated with a high amplitude wave, namely 100%, uh, ways we observe the significant modification of extracellular matrix structure that may indicate the loss of the mechanical integrity of the scaffold, uh, which is a property, uh, but preservation of this mechanical uh, integrity of these mechanical properties is quite important to obtain a suitable vascular graph. So we cannot recommend the usage of high amplitude waves for desolarization and for further evaluation. The data staining just confirmed the result which was previously reported that sonication used in combination with the hypotonic buffer is not strong enough to remove the cellular components from the tissue. When examining the result uh, obtained uh, when treating the samples with a detergent, uh, namely Triton X100 under rotation, we more observe that. Uh, Triton X100 uh, is a very weak detergent and cannot ensure the cell elimination from, from the matrix uh, and probably um, permanently should be used in some stronger detergents such as uh, sodium dodecyl sulfate, sodium dioxicolate. Uh, at the same time, uh, the result is way not improved when using the detergent in combination with ultrasound. So we still can observe a great uh, amount of intact cells and the DNA into, into the matrix. Uh, so as a conclusion, uh, we have two main conclusions, and namely that the ultrasound in visualization did not appear to be efficient when applied alone to remove cells from the tissue. It also is not uh, efficient uh, when uh, in combination with uh, weak detergents and namely in combination with some non-ionic detergents. At the same time, we would recommend to test the or possibility to use the ultrasound in combination with uh, stronger detergents, uh, taking into consideration to the possibility to describe the effect of the ultrasound to induce the disruption of existing cell rejection and in this way to reduce the overall time that is required for efficient desolarization. And uh, finally, I would like to uh, thank my supervisors from Republic of Moldova and the supervisors from Hanover Medical Schools and named the research group of uh, Professor Andres Hilsker uh, who support the realization of this study where possible. So thank you for your attention and like to answer on the question if you have time. Any questions? Maybe one little question. Um, why did you choose uh, small uh, caliber vessels? Uh, so uh, the choice of the small caliber vessels uh, was not uh, uh, randomly performed. Uh, it was uh, determined by the uh, clinical difficulties and the clinical needs that exist nowadays. Because in reality, the usage of synthetic materials is a very good option for the patient with uh, require assisted substitution at the level of the aort vessels, at the level of iliac vessels, so this large di di diameter. But using the synthetic material for, um, uh, to obtain these small caliber vessels is not possible because of the phenomenon of thrombosis. So in the patients that require the bypass surgery below the femoral artery, usage of this material is not possible. And the unique um, graft is the outer graft. But not all of the patients may have a suitable vessel uh, for transplantation because of, uh, as I mentioned, in most cases, the greater saphenous vein is used, but some case patients may also have the varicose disease and it's not of suitable uh, uh, quality. Some cases, some patients may have the generalized atherosclerosis and as a result, using the artery from another place is also not, not possible. So from clinical, for, for clinics, we really need this small caliber vessel. And um, 
Another thing, even in the literature, a lot of tests are performed on a water using the percent a water. As I mentioned, it uh, seems impossible to use the same protocol for a water and uh, carotid artery because uh, uh, carotid artery is much thinner as a water and probably uh, will may require shorter time for complete visualization. Oh, thank you. 